Fall is in the air. It's that time of the year to bring you my fall content, my fall lineup of fragrances that I will be enjoying this fall. I'll be doing many, many videos, of course, my top 10 fall niche fragrances, top 10 fall designer fragrances, all that is coming. But I first wanted to share with you guys my favorite type of fragrance to wear in the fall time. Of course, it's gourmand fragrances or gourmand fragrances. Gourmand fragrances are just delicious in the fall. They just jive so well with the fall atmosphere, the, the vibe, you know. So today I'm going to share with you my fall gourmand fragrance picks, designer and niche. Hi, my lovely people. Welcome back to another fabulous fragrance video. I'm sharing with you my favorite, delicious, almost edible smelling fall gourmet fragrances. It's the category of fragrances that I look forward to wearing in the fall. I kind of kind of look forward to fall, this time of the year to wear fragrances with more thick, heavy, stronger gourmet notes like caramel, coffee, you know, that type of notes. I love to wear that kind of fragrances this time of the year. And boy, do I have the goodies for you. Trust me guys, I have way more than that upstairs in my perfume collection, but I thought which ones that I will absolutely wear, have to, must wear this fall. I'll be wearing more than this, of course, but I'll share with you my top picks for now. There is no fall for me without this fragrance and this needs no instruction whatsoever. It's a niche fragrance. It's from the house of Serjaf. It is the mother of all gourmet fragrances. It is the quintessential or most amazing groundbreaking gourmet fragrance ever. This is of course Italica by Zerjaf. You guys, this fragrance is mm, mm, yum, 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 yum. Does it smell delicious? Smells almost good enough to eat, but it is Here's the thing, when I describe this fragrance, I'll be comparing some fragrance notes to food, delicious food items or snacks, but that doesn't mean it literally smells like that, okay? Some people might not understand that, so I'm just letting you know. I know most of you are familiar with the concept of gourmet fragrances. This fragrance is a sweet fragrance. It is very sweet, but somehow it's so delicious that you don't mind it. You know, usually a friend of fragrance is this sweet, you know, it's like too thickingly sweet, but not this one. Yes, it is very sweet. I think sweet is like one of the number one things about this fragrance I would mention, but it is in the most delicious possible way. This is one of my husband's favorite fragrances on me. He always says that he just wants to take a bite out of me when I wear this. This smells like snickerdoodles or sugar cookies dipped in milk with a little bit of musk, if that makes sense. Of course, the perfume sexy version of it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this has toffee, like milk, that lactonic creamy milky vibe from milk. Um, there's stuffy in here, there's almond, there's all this gorgeous, delicious gourmet fragrance notes in here that, ooh, my mouth is watering. What more can I say, okay? Must have, can't live without. Unfortunately, you can't really see through this bottle, but I am like, I'm like down to here. I'm pretty sure halfway through. I wear this all the time and every fall, it, it's one of my go-to date night, Netflix stay in movie night, go out. It, it works in any situation. All right, so another bunch of fragrances that I pull out for fall are my vanilla gourmet fragrances. And of course my top number one vanilla always will be Emicolaf Note Vanille. 
I have a whole other bottle. This is my full bottle. I always use my full bottle to show you guys. My other bottle is always in one of my purses or somewhere floating around. I'm almost done with that bottle. This is my new one. I have two of them. I bought one myself and Emiklav sent me one. Oh, so delicious. This is the most delicious, gorgeous, boozy, yummy, dessert-like vanilla ever but in the most refined well blended sexy perfume way okay if that makes sense this sometimes to me almost smells like vanilla ice cream but some boozy vanilla ice cream like you know like a vanilla ice cream with a little bit of maybe rum or some kind of booze in it that's what it smells like sometimes the edges are rounded off with the beautiful white florals in here so it's oh, absolutely beautiful love it it's actually an all year round fragrance this is a one of those crazy fragrances like chameleon fragrances that adapt to any kind of weather this works in warm weather this works in cold weather it projects last even in cold weather even in fall even in winter it's one of those fragrances worth every penny you guys i have a discount code for this and actually i have discount codes for a lot of these so make sure you know i always Make sure to link like the best places to buy these fragrances at the best price. And if I have any discount codes that you can take some money off your order, I always put them in the description box. So make sure to always check it right below this, this screen. Actually, let me keep with the vanilla ones that I have here. Another gorgeous gourmet vanilla that I cannot miss. I cannot stop wearing in fall is Orchidie Vinny. This is my second bottle. I went through a whole bottle. I should do like a perfume empties, empty bottles video. I think I've thrown some of them out. I don't know why I did that, you guys. I need to do that with you guys. I need to show you the ones that I go through. You know, like I sometimes I go through fragrances and I don't even talk about it, but this is Van Cleef and Our, Our Pals, Orchidie Vinny. Oh, this is a chocolatey vanilla, you guys. There's dark chocolate in here with a big, big, massive dose of vanilla. There's vanilla orchid and a bunch of other mwah, delicious fragrance notes. I think this also has lychee in it with a little bit of that fruitiness. So, so yum, 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 yum. I love that chocolate vibe in it. It's one of the most favorite vanillas in my collection. It's actually my... So this is my number one favorite and this is, I would say, a close second. Um, I love like that. It's one of my favorite vanillas in my collection. Then, of course, I cannot forget Spiritus de Bleveni by Gerla. This one is another creamy, boozy vanilla that smells kind of like a dessert, a vanilla dessert. Uh, I just, oh, it's so good. I go, oh, I'm planning to wear these the most this fall so by the time this falls over i'm expecting it to be down to there so that's one that i'm gonna wear a lot really love it and here's one that i have neglected for the most part in the last year or two that i regret not wearing more i got to admit when i first received this fragrance because of all the hype i ordered it and when i received it it was a very unique it, it smelled like a very unique gourmet my, to my nose at the time that was used to like a more floral kind of vanilla type fragrance not this this much of a stronger gourmet with a very complex composition to my nose it didn't smell mind-blowing at the time but now that my nose has evolved to really appreciate unique gourmet fragrances i love it this is fer delicieuse by dior this is from the Privé line i got the news that this is being discontinued i don't know guys it's not even is it still on the dior site because the last time i checked it wasn't so it might be getting discontinued. I don't know guys. So I haven't sprayed this in a while. So I can't really smell it out of the atomizer. So I'm going to spray it. Um, mm, this is a definitely a very 
special kind of gourmand. This is not for the faint of heart. This is a very strong, chocolatey, boozy, caramelly. I mean, it is a whole bunch of things. There's a whole bunch of gourmand notes in here. There's tonka bean, which is very strong in here. That tonka bean smell, the very deep vanilla, but not quite the vanilla, but vanilla-like. I think praline in here too. There are all these gorgeous gourmand notes and there's even leather in here. So it's a very, it brings this luxurious, sexy vibe to this fragrance, the leather note in here. Of course, some woody notes. Oh, the dry down is what's most divine, you guys, but I'm definitely pulling this one out this fall because I haven't been given it the love it deserves. And another of my all-time favorite gourmet, gourmet, gourmet queens in the world is this fragrance right here. So I have a full bottle and a bottle that's half empty. So this is Oud Bouquet by Lancome from the Maison Lancome line. This is the old packaging. As you can see, my old bottle is like down to there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see through it. So it's like down to about there. And then um, I have the new bottle, which I don't use as much of because I just love the original more, you guys. Lancome swears these two are identical, but I beg to differ. This smells even more, slightly more refined to my nose. I don't know. This is a super strong gourmet fragrance. This is a very jammy, jammy, jammy rose with loads of praline and very like dark thick gourmet vibes it's obviously a rosewood fragrance with a load of praline and sweetness some vanilla oh smells almost kind of boozy almost there's a boozy factor to this as well absolutely love it i'll be wearing it this fall i keep waiting I keep not reaching for this bottle i keep reaching for this one but this fall i mean they smell very similar the difference is very minuscule but um yeah this fall i'm gonna try and use this one a little bit more too oh you guys one i will not live without this fall is this one i've been actually dying for fall to come around to wear this because i actually was so eager to wear this i actually wore this in summer this actually does work on summer nights i wore this summer nights when we went out um this was one of my go-to's but now that fall is here, I can wear this all day long. This is Sugar Leather by Unnui Nomad. This is exactly what it's, it's, the name suggests, you guys. This smells like a very refined, sexy leather fragrance that's sweet. It's sugar leather for darn sure. There's like caramel in here, which is where the sweetness come from. A very luxurious, very well refined, well blended leather note that is not offensive it's very luxurious oh i love it i love it love it love it love it love it my husband loves this one loves this one so yeah definitely it gonna be a go-to fragrance this fall by the way i have a discount code for you for that one i have actually two discount codes for you you can choose which one you want to uh, use check my description box down there the three dots under the screen the this frame click it and it'll roll out the description box okay um and then i have this one right here that i love absolutely adore it's one of my actually top favorite gourmet fragrances period this is byron parfums mula mula you guys oh my gosh so byron is about to come out with mula mula caramel now this also has caramel, but I'm gonna assume the caramel flanker is gonna be even more caramelly. Ew, yum, 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 my mouth is watering. So that fragrance I don't have yet, you guys, it hasn't been released yet, but the moment it's released, you can assume, insert in this video right here, that I suggest you that a mula mula caramel as well, because, because, I already know I'm gonna love it. There, there's no doubt about it. If I love this, I'm gonna love Mula Mula Caramel. Believe me, okay? This one, you guys, has some gorgeous fruity notes, comes fruity berry notes, like I think raspberry and stuff in here, 
which I love and appreciate, but it's that caramel in there that's so delicious. Oh, it's that caramel mixed with the berry notes, the strawberry, I think, the raspberry, and there's peach, I believe, too. So delicious. I think it's right in the opening. And there's like a juicy, zingy ginger note. You know how ginger is just gorgeous in fragrances. Pink pepper. There's labdanum, which is a um, kind of floral note that has a leather nuance. Adds a sexy vibe to it. And the musk adds sexiness to this too. Loads of vanilla. And it has a hint of oud, but it's very smooth almost unnoticeable oud. It just gives it strength and lasting power and that woody base. Absolutely love it. Also got a discount code for this one. You can order directly from the Byron Parfum website. I'll put it down in the description box. Ooh, I have more yumminess. Then I have this deliciousness that I have been waiting impatiently for fall to arrive to wear because this one, I ordered in summertime and I received it in the summer because I had I saw a really good price for it. But I it's not one you can wear in any other season but fall. It's a very strong gourmet fragrance. If you wear it in the warmer months, it would have to be night late night time, and you'll have to spray moderately. But anyway, this is Penhaligon's Clandestine Clara. Okay, this is my goodness is a yummy delicious ambery like woody vanilla -y gorgeousness you guys this is beautifully boozy as well i believe there's rum in here <sighs> that big dose of oh amber is delicious in here with that vanilla very like a bucket of vanilla this has a lot of vanilla i can smell the vanilla and it's very beautifully warm with that warm cinnamon in here uh so delicious it's that vanilla that's in here you can almost call it an amber vanilla fragrance beautiful absolutely gorgeous now another gorgeous delicious yummy earthy deliciousness is this for fall time this is tom ford black orchid this screams fall you guys it was like made for fall okay look at this bottle i freaking love this bottle absolutely gorgeous this is tom ford black orchid did i tell you that this is one of the most complicated perfume compositions i have in my collection that beautiful black truffle in here you guys adds this delicious edible earthiness to this fragrance mixed with the chocolate type of notes that are in this fragrance oh, so delicious this has a lot of like juicy fruity notes like black Current and it has like beautiful florals, um, like ylang ylang, jasmine, like name it, like gardenia, all these beautiful floral notes, citrus notes like mandarin orange. It has orchid. Did I say another floral note in here? It's orchid, and it even has a smoky note, like incense note in here, too. Loads of amber, loads of vanilla, um, chocolate, gourmet notes like that. It is absolutely delicious surprisingly my husband likes this this he loves this fragrance how it smells so yeah it's a very unisex fragrance but he loves it on me i never actually suggested that he should wear it but you know what like he loves how it smells on me i have another tom ford which i'm going to put at the very end because it's been discontinued i'll get there in a minute but another great one for fall is Casablanca. You guys, this is a beautiful caramelly fragrance. Very caramelly with a little bit of a suede or leather note in here, which is very sexy. And a crisp apple note in the opening. I believe this has a juicy grape note as well. But it's that caramel and the crispy apple that I really love in this fragrance. Loads of amber, as you can tell by the color. The suede note is absolutely gorgeous in here very may gives it a like a, a luxurious touch although this is a very affordable fragrance from swiss arabian and it's a quite a balsamic fragrance which is why this is perfect for fall time other than the fact that it has like gourmet notes like caramel and also leather which are all great for fall it's also balsamic so i really love this one of my favorite things to wear in the fall time <sighs> another favorite of mine that i can't go a fall 
especially fall without. I tend to wear this even summer nights. This is M. Mikulov Mont Parfum Cristal. This has been discontinued, you guys. I have no idea why on earth M. Mikulov would do that. This is actually a beautiful, sweet rose, like it's a rose vanilla fragrance but with that toffee on top of it, it's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Oh, so it has a little slight warmth from the cinnamon. I believe there's a little bit of uh, pink pepper in here too, which is very like nice and happy thought woking kind of uh, soft spice. Loads of amber, as you can see from the juice. This smells so feminine, delicious, sweet. And it, oh, it smells a little bit like incense too, you guys. I gotta tell you, I swear there's a little bit of incense here because I get a little bit of a very beautiful trail of incense in this fragrance, especially on the dry down. Absolutely stunning. This projects like crazy, which is why I like to wear this in the fall time. One time I was wearing this at an event and I was walking past a bunch of rooms, like this is in the hallway. People in the rooms could smell me and compliment me, you guys. It's like that strong of sillage and projection. Absolutely great, um, gorgeous gourmet. By the way, I love this so much, I didn't bring the spares down. I have three full bottle backups and two 30 mil backups of this fragrance because they are discontinuing it. That's how crazy I am. I think there's still some available on the Emikolov website. I will link it down below with the discount code. Another favorite gourmet for fall time that I always like to wear is this right here, Victor and Rolf Bonbon Couture. I believe, oh, so good. This is also caramelly fragrance for the most part. It's a white floral caramel white tobacco kind of fragrance absolutely gorgeous huge compliment getter i believe this particular flanker has been discontinued but it's still available a lot of places to buy so that's why i'm talking about it oh it's so good the original is good too by by the way you guys this one has that white tobacco which i think gives it a, a certain like sultriness honestly and yeah, huge compliment getter. Every time I wear it, I get a compliment. And another one I am super excited to wear this fall. I actually received this in the summertime and it was way too warm for this fragrance. This is definitely one that screams fall, fall, fall. You can wear it summer nights, but I really wanted to wait for fall time to wear this. This is one of my latest additions to the collection from the JUS, Joyu Unique Sensorial Perfume House. I love them. You guys know how much I love their fragrances. This, oh, this is a strong, ambery fragrance, you guys. This is balsamic to no end. This is ambery. This is woody. It's very sultry this is by the way did i tell you the name this is sexy crush it's definitely very sexy ambery fall fragrance i can't wait to wear this more now that it's fall it has a smoky incensey note in here that's so good too i don't know if it's revealed in the composition or not but that's definitely a slight hint of incense here oh this has loads of like vanilla and tonka bean it has rose it has you know amber it has i think even a little bit of oud you guys but it's very hard to even notice but it's there giving it that woody base it has a little bit of labdanum which gives it a sexy leather nuance definitely definitely wants one that's super balsamic that screams fall time can't wait to wear this i love the new bottle so this used to be in a black bottle but i love this gorgeous gold bottle I have a discount code with this fragrance house uh, down in the description box. You can buy this directly from them at a really nice discount, you guys. If you want, go check the description box for it. And then, of course, I am very much looking forward to wearing this out of the three. The trio Tom Ford came out with the three cherry fragrances. This is Cherry Smoke this um now lost cherry is good for fall too but because of the fact that it doesn't last very long i like to wear it more like summer evenings um whereas this one cherry smoke is the more darker 
more black cherry version out of the three you know which is uh and does last so um i think this is more appropriate for fall you know this is a very uh, gourmet cherry fragrance i would have included my beloved room 1015 cherry punk but that to me yeah it has like a little almond nuance that makes it kind of gourmet of course cherry is a fruit but to me i'm gonna include it in my top 10 fall niche fragrances so this is more of a boozy cherry so this is more of a gourmet in my opinion that one the cherry punk that one is more sexy leather version you know like not it doesn't scream gourmet to me it screams more sexy leather like you know that kind of thing that black cherry not the sour cherry this is very like that sultry dark cherry this has a little bit of incensey smokiness which is why this is cherry smoke and of all above all this has i think either davana or cypro oil or nagamotha one of the sultriest herbal notes it's absolutely gorgeous can't wait to wear this more this fall this is one i have been wearing actually summer too this is a gourmet that actually you can wear almost all year round this is really like it doesn't choke you in the warmer months but it does project and is strong enough for cold weather too this is gossip night by gritti one of my top compliment getter fragrances in my collection this gets crazy amount of compliments this is that whipped creamy peach fragrance this is very lactonic and creamy from the whipped cream this has fruity notes like lychee and peach very juicy mostly what i smell is the peach and the whipped cream in this fragrance some caramel too this has vanilla there is a cashmere note that gives it a bit of a cozy vibe with musk which is very sexy huge compliment getter it smells like a peach ice cream dessert that sexy version of it that just lingers it leaves a massive sillage people can smell it i've gotten so many compliments on it then i have one that i really love wearing in fall time i don't know fall is the time for this and i think it works also in spring like winter and spring too maybe not the summertime but all the other times of the year this is one of my favorite fragrances to wear in the springtime as well this is amouage lilac love this is that beautiful cacao powdery lilac-y powdery oh goodness this you know has lilac has cacao powder which adds a beautiful chocolatey hint to this but the powdery version of chocolate you know because it's cacao powder vanilla and other notes but it's just super feminine and super delicious it's a gourmet fragrance that's very feminine and in a very like powdery kind of way i don't know how else to put it absolutely love it i believe this was apparently oprah's signature scent for a long time i don't know if it still is but yeah apparently not that it matters who wears it and then, then I have a new release here. I'm actually going to wear all the Black Opium line fragrances this fall, which is the best time to wear all of them, starting from the original to all the flankers. But especially this one, the latest uh, one in the line, Black Opium Parfa. This one, you guys, is the creamy lactonic version in the line. I believe this has a couple of really creamy lactonic notes added to it it has some of the original dna from the orange blossom and the coffee and all that but um i believe this has either whipped cream is it something lactonic which gives it a very a huge bucket of vanilla by the way if the lactonic note is not revealed in the composition i swear there is one like it smells like a very delicious creamy vanilla coffee dessert okay like a custard dessert it's absolutely gorgeous but the sexy version of course i love wearing it and then i have two that i'm gonna put in like the honorable mentions because one has been completely discontinued you can still get a hold of it 
but it's very difficult to and the other one for some reason is hard to get a hold of here in the US but it's available in Europe and other places so this one I'm talking about the one you can get in Europe still um, you can get it here in the US too but you really have to keep an eye out this is a Lanuit Tresor from the Lanuit, my beloved Lanuit Tresor line of Lancome. This is one of the latest flankers, Lanuit Tresor Florida Nui, I believe is the name. And this, you guys, has all the original DNA of like that Lanuit Tresor, like the original Lanuit Tresor. But this, the added thing that this has is it has two uh, major lactonic uh, notes. There is, um, I think, whipped cream and uh, macchiato. So delicious. This smells so good. Oh, it has like that, you know, coffee, the rose, and the, all that original uh, notes that the original had. But this, I will say, one of my favorites from the entire line. Absolutely love it. I'm going to be wearing that a ton this fall. And lastly, this one, honorable, my second honorable mention, Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. This has been discontinued. This is absolutely stunning. Very femme fatale, kind of baddie vibes, you know, like very dark, sexy. This has, as you know, loads of amber. This has a, like, if you actually decant, put it in a decant, you will see the juice is very ambery. Loads of amber. This also has a very delicious note. It is the coffee note that's in here. You know, coffee is like this um, ice cream dessert that smells absolutely gorgeous. Tastes good too. And this has a balsamic note in it that's absolutely amazing. I can't I forget which is it. Not, it's not LMI, is it? I can't remember. But anyway, there is a balsamic note. It's super balsamic and super sexy. There's loads of vanilla in it too. Very gourmet, very delicious, mouth watering and very like dark baddie femme fatale vibes you guys absolutely love it and i can't understand why on earth tom ford would decide to discontinue it i have two backups of it upstairs in my backup bottle closet okay so yeah those are my delicious mouth-watering yummy gourmet fragrances for this fall i have this in lineup I usually tend to pull them forward, you know, like seasonal fragrances in my collection. I'm going to be doing a video on my top, top, top 10 niche fragrances. If I had to pick from the gourmet and the other fragrances and all the other fragrance families, the top 10 niche fragrances for this fall, that's going to be coming up. Stay tuned and I'll do the designer version of that as well. But these are just the gourmet fragrances that I wanted to talk about first what do you guys think what are your delicious gourmet fragrances for this fall let me know down in the comment section what do you think of mine i would love to hear from you guys 30 percent of you watching my channel have not still subscribed why not help me out grow my channel when you help me out i can bring you better bigger content because it helps me grow my community and when you subscribe it's absolutely helpful to me and also thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, which I really have kicked up my game and I'm uploading a lot of fabulous content on there as well. I will see you guys in my next video.